Five things to see this month in the night sky. I'm Greg Smyrumsby. August is famous for the Milky Way and the Perseid meteor shower. This year you're in for a treat. The moon is glorious whenever you get to see it, but as far as meteors are concerned, it's simply too bright. For this year's Perseid event, it will spend most of its time below the horizon, meaning uninterrupted views of even the faintest of shooting stars, as meteors are sometimes called. Left behind after comets have travelled in towards the sun, these tiny specks of dust form clouds that the Earth ploughs into. Travelling at around 60 kilometres per second, the grains heat up and vaporise as streaks of light in the night sky. It doesn't really matter where you look in the sky, just make sure that you're comfortable, and if you do catch one, why not make a wish? M31, or the Andromeda Galaxy, is 2.5 million light years away. Amazingly, you can see this with your own eyes. You can find M31 to the left of the famous Great Square of Pegasus. Start at Alpha Andromedae, better known as Alpha Rats, jump two stars to the left, and two fainter stars up. Through binoculars, its elongated nucleus becomes obvious, while seen through a moderate telescope, some of the dust in its spiral arms can also be observed. Andromeda and the Milky Way galaxies are set to collide in about four billion years. There are some awesomely large stars to be seen high up overhead this summer. Deneb, the tail star of Cygnus, is one of the brightest stars in the night sky at magnitude 1.25, but it is also one of the furthest to be seen with the naked eye, around 3,000 light years away. It is huge, over 200 times the diameter of our Sun. This A-class star has a surface temperature of around 8,500 degrees centigrade. If it were as close as Altair in the night sky, you might not see any other stars. How about seeing the Sun? Not now, but as it will be in a few billion years. Well, you can in M57, the Ring Nebula. It's easy to find just below the bright star Vega in Lyra, but you will need a moderate telescope to make out its ring-like nature. This star has died, but being small like our Sun, it has not gone bang, but it has slowly coughed and spluttered to its demise, releasing large quantities of its atmosphere into space as colourful shells of gas. From our point of view, these shells look like beautiful rings. You'll not see any colour as your eyes are simply not sensitive enough. Let's face it, most of us have never seen the outermost planet Neptune. Too faint and too small to be bothered with. Well, this year it lies next to a relatively bright star, Sigma Aquarii, at magnitude 4.8. Neptune will look like a fainter star to its west at magnitude 7.6. Because it is so faint, you cannot see Neptune with just your own eyes. Through binoculars, it looks like a dim star. A small telescope will begin to reveal its planetary nature, a tiny disk.